Welcome back, everybody. As y'all can see, I've been letting my shit get out of hand for far too long. And I can't be rocking it out like this. So I'm going to make me one massive diorama. I'm going to take that shelf, double that shit up. And I'm going to have four different massive layers to mess with. Well, I'm going to hook it up as I see fit. And we're going to make some magic, folks. But first things first, I'm going to have to take my shelves, measure them out, get my bases right. Take everything down that I got up on the walls, like this hustle sign, run over here with the camera. I'm gonna get all the stuff out of the corner. We got a lot of stuff to do, we gonna get it all done. First things first, let me show you where I got the shelves at. Right here at Home Depot. Had a nice little steel on it, $84.98, used to be $99.99. Some heavy duty storage unit. We gonna find out how heavy duty it is. They got some smaller ones for 75 bucks. Nah, I'd rather get the bigger ones. I want to go big this time. 36 by 24, that ain't bad. So right here, those were my old displays right there. Well, I still got it. And all you got to do is Google search a turn your background cartoon. And I get all these images. And you just take your ass down the rabbit hole. See what pops up. You're going to see a whole bunch of shit. Try to get them longer images. You know what I'm saying? Because when you make that shit bigger, you want to be able to make sure you get as much as an image as you can on the wall. You know what I'm saying? Let me show you what I ended up picking. Right there, nice large image. Right there for the jungle. And then we got that for the basement. We have to size that down a little bit. Now right here, you see they got Prince Adam and shit. So I cut the ass out, doubled up the image. Real easy to do. And then right there, you got Skeletor on the side. We can't have that. Zoom it in right there, and that's it. So I went to Staples, took the shit down there. That guy right there, he hooked it up. He sized it out. And in the meantime, I'm going to cut these down. I got all these pieces of wood. Cut at Home Depot, but I got to cut the corners. So I'm going to cut all that shit out. My hand is Andy saw. We're going to get the shit done. Right there, I got everything cut out nice and neat. So when I sit it there, I can put it in any shelf that I want. First things first, I'm gonna cut down that extreme set cardboard whole uh, castle diorama, but I need some lights. So we went down to Walmart and I ended up getting some Rotons on sale, seven bucks. You can't beat that shit. So I'm gonna buy it, I got me the LED lights, we good. Got these cut out right where I need them at. I put that other shit right on the back. So it blends in with the floor, you know what I'm saying? That's a secret dungeon and shit. We're going to set that up in the back where I got my whole little setup with all the lights. You see, I put that one in there. It was a little hard doing it upside down, but I made it work. But I got a whole bunch of other lights to go. I might have to take these bitches apart, put it in there a lot easier. But in the meantime, I just want to make sure I got this one room out the way. And right here, folks, this is how it came out. I don't think it's looking that bad at all. We keep it just like that. And then we move on to the other side. I don't got no lights yet. But as you can see, that's how the layout. That's what I'm thinking of right now. You know what I'm saying? It's work in progress. But I'm going to show you something else that it could do. Since I picked these little LED lights that could change color. Came with this nice little remote. Now it's got it aiming in the right spot. You know what I mean? I got them bitches tucked under there. Pretty nice and tight. You gotta aim it just the right way. Hold on, let me find it. I'm gonna get it. Right there. Come on, there it is. Look at that. We got red up in here. We got a whole bunch of colors. There it is orange. It's fades over the green, the blue. All them colors. Whatever I'm in the mood for, you gotta set the mood, set the tone. And you got all them colors to do it. And once I hook up the lights for all these shows, I can change all the colors if I want. But for the most part, I'm just going to leave it natural. You know what I'm saying? Leave it just like that. I can turn it off and on. But that's it for the day. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. Right now, it's a nice Saturday morning. I got my $5 bag to go give me a bunch of rocks. As much rocks as I can carry. I'm going to walk out this bitch with a whole bunch of rocks. A1 most folks, they got what you need down here. So we're going to go over here, these different rock piles. Different ones that you've said I might want to look into. They got little baby rocks right there. Some nice 
round circular rocks. I'm liking those. Let's see what we got down here. Oh yeah, look at that right there. I like these rocks. We got some other rocks over here. These are the rocks that I use for uh, for the first diorama. You know what I'm saying? This type of rock. I'm gonna take some of these bitches because I'm gonna paint them up. You know what I mean? I like the way they're shaped. A nice long, you know what I'm saying? Covers a lot of area. Look, that's what I got so far. Nice big rocks in here. We can do better than this. You see that shit? Nice and flat. These rocks right here, they'll work perfectly for my outskirts of Eternos. I just gotta paint them up like I said. I got a whole bunch to look through. We're gonna find some other rocks. These rocks right here. These ones, I think these would look nice in the jungle area. They got a nice lot. Look at that. That one right there. Flat, put circular on the top. I'm gonna try to find some other ones like that. Let me see this. This right there. That's what I'm talking about. Circular on the top. Flat on the bottom. I'm gonna put that around my husky musty bag. There we go. This is getting pretty filled. But I need some more. Let's take a look at this. It's like picking a needle in a haystack. Who's gonna make the cut? Who's gonna make it into my diorama? Your ass is gonna make it into my diorama. I like that. Yep. Take that, bag it up. I want some more. I want some more options. These are big, but I need some smaller ones too. But right there in the distance, we there. And look at this. I hopped up here. Look at these smaller rocks. I found a couple already. But we need some more. We on the hunt, folks. Take your time with it. Especially if I got a five dollar bag, I can pick all the rocks I want. I'm gonna pick it. I'm gonna pick your ass and pick a couple more. Take that shit too. We got a bunch. We fill it up, see what we got. So right there, I got a big ass bag of rocks. It's heavy as shit. But I'm gonna get it in my car. We're gonna take it home. So I came to Staples, they needed a day to get my shit together on these big ass printers. And look at this shit. It's nice. And it's nice and long, but I done fucked up. And I measured it wrong. I didn't include the half of the wall. You know what I'm saying? Where it turns at. So in the meantime, they're gonna fix it for free. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna fix it for free. We're gonna come in here, Hobby Lobby, and pick some shit out. I need some shit for the jungle. And let me tell you something. I love coming to Hobby Lobby. They always got so much interesting shit. Look at all this shit. They got all these different types of vines and whatever or whatnot. I need something special. I need to get the ground done. I need some spare, you know what I'm saying? Things right there. Look at this. That's Moss Man's house. I got that shit right there. How much? Ten dollars. Ten dollars for the Moss House, folks. Right here at Hobby Lobby. Let's see what else we got right here. Look at this. This is the grass, but I need a, you know what I'm saying? I need a bigger piece. Way bigger than that. Because I got a lot of ground to cover with. 36 by 24. Yeah, that's big. So I know just where to go. Right where I got it the first time at. A work mass around this way. Take a look, folks. Whole bunch of shit. But right here, they got them same grass from the other aisle. Instant green. Super Mars, big ass shit, we will take that. I think I might need two of these, let me see. $17.99, yep. I think I'm gonna have to get that one, just in case. The measurement chair, yeah, definitely. So we got two of them, but we ain't done yet, let me take a look. I need some more decorations. I need to get that jungle, feel like a jungle, I need some more. I might need some of this, some moss. Let's see, we got some different options up here. I want to make sure I get the right one. I don't like that shit. Yeah, this got some... Yeah, this got some shit in it. Got a whole bunch of different ones. I like a couple of them colors. I don't need them all. I just need a little bit. So let me take that too. Let's see what else we got. This right here. This is the moss that I use at Moss Man's house. This is some good shit. I'm gonna give me another one. I like that. We'll throw that in there. Let's see what else we got. Yeah. I don't know. Let me see this. This moss looks nice. There's some not as many colors as the other one. 
trying to compare everything. It's a little bit cheaper. Shit. It's always hard because I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm making this up as I go along. I need some, some leaves for the trees. You know what I'm saying? Up top. Hanging down. Same thing I had in Moss Man's house. Those type of leaves. Yeah. I'm not feeling that shit. Nah. You see that? $15.99 just for that piece? Get out of my face with that. It ain't good enough. Right there, that... Mm, I don't know. Right here, look at that. You see the drips coming on that leaf. That's nice. These right here could be good for the background. They cut down some trees. They need firewood. You know what I'm saying? And that price ain't bad. Six something, whatever. Yeah, I take it. We got all this so far. Let's keep on going. All right, I added some more and some leaves right there. And I think I'm done here. Let's go over here, this part of the store, look. This is where they got all them little things, look. Some little packages and shit. I'm gonna have to grab that. It looks pretty decent. We got a Bible, I might need that one day. Welcome back. Yeah, he needs that shit. And they got other stuff, like look at this shit. They got houses up here. You can either buy it in the box or you can buy it in pieces for that bungalow. Oh my goodness, and the prices. We got right here, two thirty nine. They could build me the Vermont farmhouse. Hustle needs that shit. I might get it. Right there, that's the furniture I got for Drunk He Man's Castle Gray Skull. What else we got over here? Look at this shit. The TV. That's where I got that from. All right, I got this whole shit from here. Bedroom set from here. What else we got? Look at dining room table, kitchen set. Another kitchen set, thirty four ninety nine. Hey, Skeletor might need that shit in Snake Mountain, I don't know. Let's see what else they got over here. They got different floors, you have some wood floor up in the castle. They got your ass. Some tile, some wallpaper, whatever. Whatever you want, they got it. All for the miniature scale, that's pretty nice. They got a little furniture room, look at this. That's the bedroom set the junk he man got. $17.99 the Mulberry Street brand. This right here. I think Hordak can use that shit. A washer and dryer. Ain't a bad price. That's it, folks, right there. I love looking at this shit. Anytime I'm in the store, I might see something to catch my eye. Like that bucket. That bucket, that's the one right there to turn your auto mark that Bobby uses. Look, they got their own bottles, but that ain't liquor. So I don't want it. Right here, I went to Home Depot. I want to paint some of them uh, beams right there on the shelf. So it can blend in. You know what I'm saying? So this right there, nice brown. I might use that for the jungle. I need a nice gray. Something I can use for the for the basement part. Some nice gray beams to match it in. They got all the colors. It's got his paint. It's got his prime in it. So yeah, I think I'm going to definitely pick this brown. That'll be good for the trees. Coda Brown, whatever that is. Right here, folks. These are all the rocks that I got. But they dirty. I got to get them pictures clean. So right now, I got to let them dry out in the summer sun because I need them nice and dry to paint them. I'm not trying to mess it up. I need that spray paint to stick on it. And right here, you can see I got them split up. The one side I'm going to use for the jungle, the other side I'm going to use for the other side. But right here, we're going to paint these things up. See how it comes out. Paint them all brown. The power editing. Booyah, there it is. Nice and brown. It can look like trees. Blend right in with the eye. Once I hook it all up nice and neat. But that shit's done. So right here, I took all them shelves. And I put them upside down. And I put all the lights on with the tape. And I had to put the tape. Because this shit wasn't sticking like it's supposed to. It was cheap. It was like five something a piece. You know what I mean? So they need a little bit of help. So hopefully that's good. Right there, I got the ones that I painted. The front parts I painted gray. So it blends in with the stone. You know what I mean? And then taking a peek back there, you see I got my power supply hooked up. So I'm going to have all the lights run to that. Running from the back. And right there, I'm going to put all the pieces in the front. As you can see, I got the one background on the wall. 
That was the only one that I measured right. All the other ones, they, they was fucked up. So right here, I got the grass. So I'm going to take that, spray this uh, adhesive spray on that shit. And I'm going to lay it down. I'm going to hook it up. Power editing. There it is, folks. Everything on there went on pretty nice and easy. But I done fucked up. I didn't buy enough. So I got to take my ass back to Hobby Lobby. You're going to get some more. This I should have grabbed and kept it in my hands. So I went and I brought it back. Put the little piece on there. It looks good enough for me. Time to move on to the walls right here. You can see I started putting it up. I'm working my way down. I measured it out. Had to draw the line so I could keep it nice and you know what I'm saying straight. I put all my little sticky things on there first. Follow my lines. And just do it one at a time. Take your time with it. Work your way up. As you can see, I got the one side done. And I left the little sticky parts on there so you can see how many I used to put it up there. I ain't playing around. I don't need this shit falling. You can see right here. That sits up there pretty tight. I can peel it off. Maybe not damage the wall. Well, oop. There's a little damage. Oopsie doopsie. I did it too fast for y'all. This is what I'm using right here. The Scotch removable clear mountain squares or circles. Whichever one holds a nice amount of weight. Just for one, but I got a lot of paper. And I need this shit to hold it tight. Like I said, I don't want it coming down. And this shit, I like it. Works good. So I got all my squares up there, all the way on the top. Work them all around and just do it, like I said, one by one. Making sure everything fits in there nice and neat. Right here, I went back to the store. I needed uh, some more plants. I found this. Should work good in the jungle. We're going to test it out. So I got all my lights hooked up. I got that hooked up to the back. All my backgrounds. Ran all my wires. Used some tape to keep it nice and neat. So it drapes right down. Not seen by the eye. Everything hidden right there. Works real good to have that little section right there. And then when I back it all up. It's going to back up nice and neat. Let's start measuring that shit out right. Look at that shit. Everything's up there looking good. I love how it goes around the wall. Gives more to look at. But that's it for the day. So it's Sunday morning and today's the day I'm going to paint my ass some rocks. I needed some more. So I came around the corner, found a nice pot to take some from. They ain't going to miss it. I got a whole bunch to choose from. So I picked all these bitches, put them in my car. And I got to get my ass out of here for somebody sees me. But like I said, it's just rocks. It's just rocks. So right here, I got all these rocks and I got them ready for painting. These are the ones that dry from the other day. These other ones, they need a good washer. And I don't feel like hooking up the power washer. I'm going to have to hose these bitches off. So I'm going to do that. And then these ones, these ones are going to be purple right there for the, you know what I'm saying, for the multiverse battle zone right there. With the power editor, there it is, folks. I got myself some purple rocks and I had a little pink in there, you know what I'm saying? Give it a little highlights, just like the background. Try to make it match as best as I can. I'm gonna wash these rocks off right here. This tub's got some holes in the bottom. It'll work out real good. Get them nice and clean. Look at that rainbow fire that shit. It's on fire. That shit's clean like a mug, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And right there, folks. I had to give these ones a little bit extra. I'm not flipping these ones. Painting them as is. Seeing how that comes out. Because that's how I want them to sit when I use them. Looks good. These are ready for transport. They dried plenty. And they're good to the touch. Ready to go right there on the shelf. These ones, these ones going to be the pink one. I needed a lot of pink rocks. It's a lot of area up there. Eternos deserves it. There it is, folks. We're going to see how I paint them. So basically, I'm just trying to go back and forth. Make sure I get every side of the crevice. I don't want any little bit of the white coming off of them rocks. These are the turtles rocks. They're supposed to be pink. I got to make it look right. So I try to keep my distance. I'm going to try to saturate the bitch. You know what I mean? Just want to spread the paint out. That's all. Let it marinate on there. Spread it out. And these ones, I'm going to give them a flipping because I don't know if that's how I want them to sit. We're going to test that out. 
See if it messes anything up. Look at those pink rocks. God damn, they look good. They look damn good. I like them. They came out great. I had to end up paying these seats. They was great. You know, they purple, so I made them purple. Now, there was one little thing I noticed when I flipped them over. I did it too fast, and now every single rock that I flipped over is ripping off a little piece of paint. Every single one. I was too goddamn fast. I should have let it dry. I should have, you know what I'm saying, let the table dry 100%. But it's all right. Because now I know you don't go that fast. Lesson learned for y'all. I'm just going to keep them flipped on the one side. It'll look just fine. So right here, I got my extra paper. And I got an idea. I'm going to cut them down to end up so I don't got to paint these bitches. And so I can make it so it blends in with the background. I didn't pay for it. They was going to throw it out. They gave it to me. One man's trash, another man's treasure. We will cut those down. So right here, I got them branches. We going to add them in there. Put them all underneath to make it look right. Make it look like a jungle. You can see I had them in right here. I take my little tie ties. I hook it up to the shelf. Trim it down so I can turn it around so each piece that sets on top, it ain't going to be all bumpy. Everything's going to be nice and flat. Look just like that. But I think it's missing some. I need some more. But besides that, we're going to take the pieces that I cut. I'm going to tape them around there. Look at that shit. Blends right in. That shit looks good. That was a perfect idea. I need some more paint. I ran out. And I got to paint some more stuff. I need to paint some more rocks. And I need some more pink. And this right here, yeah. This is the right pink. The berry pink. So right here, I had to pick up the uh, the water. So I got me a couple pieces of water. I'm going to cut it down. And that's going to be my lake. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that in a minute. A special, special remedy. Right here, I took it. Taped it all on the back. And I'm going to take that piece right there. Make sure it's nice and long enough. Match it up to the background. You get it right there. Look at that shit. It looks good, but it needs something else. And I got some options right here. I took some saran wrap. Make sure it's the same size. You know, you just want to spread it over there enough so the rocks cover that shit up. I seen that on Etsy, this different type of water, but eh, I don't like that. I'd rather go in saran wrap. I might make a little lake down there, a little pond or something. Maybe for another day. But for right now, this is all I want to show you. And that looks good. So right here, for the ground, for that multiverse part, I think I want to paint it. It's looking pretty nice pink. If I leave it like that, the rocks and everything, they could match. I need the shit to match. And it dried pretty well, so fuck it. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to paint it all up after I put it on there. So right here, I'm in the process of laying down the second one. It's coming out good, and right there, I painted the first one. It looks good pink, but it's going to need some time to dry. I'm glad it's the middle of the night, so I got it done. I take my ass to sleep. Let it dry to be good in the morning. Real quick, let me show you how I lay it down. But I take it, and I just pull it a little nice and easy. Smooth it out. You know what I'm saying? Smooth that bitch out. Pull and smooth. There you go. Look at that shit. Comes out nice and smooth. I finish that up, paint it, take my ass to sleep. So it's Monday morning. I let the shit dry overnight. And then let me see if it came out good. It looks good to the eye. But I gotta make sure it's good to the touch. And yeah, it feels good. It ain't sticking on me. I could work with that. So I had to go back to Hobby Lobby for the unsafe time. Because I need more trees for the top of the jungle. I only bought that one piece with 40% off. Fuck shit. I ain't mad at that. It's like I could. I should have bought two in the first fucking place. So I got to find the right one. But I might buy another one. Because you know better than safe than sorry. And those are the leaves right there. Yeah, we're going to get a couple of these bitches. I ain't messing around. I'm tired of going back out to the store. This is the last day. I'm trying to finish this project. So I got both of these leaves right here. And just how I did the other ones, 
I'm gonna fill in all the blank spots. You know what I'm saying? Cut them down, put a long piece, short and a short. Look at that, short and a short and a long piece in the back. That shit's gonna come out good. Put my little tie ties on it. Right there after that, I put the floor. Then I'm gonna put those on the beams. Then I'm gonna put the rocks right there. Work my way up here. I'm gonna take that, the pink part. It's coming in later today. I gotta wait on Amazon. Then I take my pink rocks. Put all those bitches up there. Hook it all up nice and neat. Get all these figures. Add all them bitches in there. Clean everything up off the floor. I got a lot of shit to do today. And all my different figures. I'm going to take every single Motu figure. And mix it all in there. A newfound way. I don't know. We're going to see how it turns out. So I got this all cut up. I just got to cut all the pieces off as you can see. And I flipped it around. So when the ground goes on it, it'll sit nice and smooth. Make sure you cut that off. Don't just turn it and let them hang down. It ain't going to look right. Now, just give me a second real quick. There it is. You see that? I cut it right off. And I turn it around. And it'll fit good. Now, right here, I pose some people. I put all the trees in there. And they looking good hanging down. I figured I'd take these Power Rangers. Set them up right there. You can see. That shit's looking good diorama-wise. They ready to fight. The Pink Ranger, White Ranger, Blue Ranger, the Dragon whatever Ranger, the new Tommy one. He's sitting there. He's raised like, come on. You get by him, and I fuck y'all up. Call the Dragons on down here. You know what I'm saying? I like that. But this ain't for Power Rangers. This is for Motu. This is the only time you're going to see some Power Rangers down up in this shit. But for the most part, hey, whatever you're looking to do with it, it'll work in this diorama. Right here with the pink rocks, with the purple, they came out great with the background. You see that shit? You see how they blended back there? And it blends it up here. And with that pink ground, it works perfect. So now I'm going to take these things and I'm going to tape each one, work on my way around it. But first, I'm going to start with this one. And you can see I put the tape on it. I gave it enough room so I could squeeze it and turn it around without it messing up. You see that shit? So I just puzzle piece it in to match it up the best I can with the picture. Yeah, that's good enough for me. It's better than it being just a plain ass white pole. You know what I'm saying? That shit looks good. Whether or not I'm turning that, looking at it, look at that. The one on that one. Mwah! came out great even as i work my way down you can see every single pole that i added that to it just made it pop better the ones on the outside the ones on the inside i love looking at it from afar i can see where they're gonna go next which is right up top oh my god i love this show this thing is coming out way better than what i thought but we ain't done yet right here i finally got my pink in it wasn't that bad of a price, $7.99. I wish I would have ordered two. Always order more. So one of the last things I wanted to do, I wanted to make sure that if I end up, you know what I'm saying, coming in the room or somebody ends up running into this, I don't want the shit to shake. So I put a screw underneath at each side going in the wall. And you see that screw right there? I put it right there in the middle of the two. So when I come in here and do a little shake test, you see that shit? He ain't falling. Ain't no trees moving. That shit is strong as an ox. Make sure you secure yourself. That's it. Right here, I can finish off all that I got going on by this bridge. Now put the rocks all around it. Make it look nice and neat. That's one of the last things I got to do, folks. We about to see it. Here it is, folks. Oh, my God. It came out way better than I could have imagined. God damn, that shit is sharp. I'm going to go through each shelf right now, give you my thoughts, starting off at the bottom right here, then Hordak's dungeon lair. I had to add in that slime pit He-Man right there because it just looked right. It looked good to go in a nice little torture dungeon that I got going on. You can see right there, looking up the steps, it blends in good. I don't know nobody to be looking back there. They just need to see it like this. 
And I like how I got the wall matched with the floor. Because it's a secret room back there. It's a death room. And right there, folks, I added a bunch of things in this room. Like custom pieces that I found over my trials. And you know what I'm saying? Looking at shit. I like how I put the little blood right there on the head. And right there, these special stakes. I ordered them off. I think it was Etsy. I don't know. I ordered a lot. That was definitely off Etsy right there. Same guy I bought the uh, the palace from. Same thing with them cuffs. All that shit came from him. All his stuff's definitely worth checking out. But all in all, I am very satisfied with this first shelf. But we're going to go up to the next one right here. In the jungle of King Hiss. This one, I really like it a lot. I love how the trees came out. You see that shit? All of them hanging down it. Spread out. Always do more than less. I learned my lesson. I went to the store one too many times. I love how that shit from Amazon came out. Add a little bit of extra flair with the trees and everything. With the little moss on stuff. Definitely add that little moss and put it over everything. Because that's how I'll be in the jungle. And all the figures. There's something I want to say about these figures. I don't put no sticky shit. No nothing. I just balance them. Put them up there. And that's it. Set them and forget it. Sometimes some fall, you know what I'm saying? Shit happens. They get tired of standing and they fall over. But for the most part, no. They all stay in their place. I say I got a 90%, you know what I'm saying, accuracy rate on keeping these bitches standing up. But I love posting them. Motu Origins figures the posability. It's, it's, it's amazing. It looks good in that form factor. And everything on this shelf with them posing. I love it. We're going to work our way up. Right up next, we got the outskirts of Eternos. This shelf. Oh, my God. They keep getting better and better. That idea right there with putting the uh, extra little bit of paper over everything. Genius idea. Oh, my God. It looks so good. This shit looks damn good. And right there, look. You look at it the right way. And it looks right. And that's all I need. That's all I need for me. That shit is fire. Look at I just love looking at the background. With it matching with the rocks. Matching with the ground. And then all the figures. Just the colors just pop. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to add some more tape. Underneath that shelf. But other than that. No it looks good. You see I put a whole bunch of tape. On that side of the shelf. The shit ain't falling. Keep that in mind if you ever end up. Using some cheap ass lights to put underneath the shelf, the shit might fall. But nah, I don't care. That shit looks good down there. Looking at the rocks in the corner, that fits good. And the little pink rocks in there too. That definitely helped make it pop. It blends a lot with the backgrounds you can see. Gives you a lot to work with. You know what I'm saying? The rocks, more or less, is free or damn near free. Depending on where you live at, depending on where you go. Them teleported things right there, them portals. One was off of like Etsy. The other one came from that uh, Marvel Legend 5 pack. I bought that shit just for that. And that was it. It was worth it for that shelf. The shit pops. Beautiful colors. But we still got one more to look at. And that one came out good. The last one. Oh my God. This one right here, way better than I could have imagined. All them extra pink rocks, they came in handy. I, I could have exited a couple more, actually, I wouldn't have minded. But right there, especially in the front of that water, with that plastic wrap on it. Oh, we got a fan of death right there. So I'm in a shop. Well, let me fix that up real quick. Get you ass some point. There it is. Looking up around here. All the extra vehicles make it look right. As you can see, there's something going on in the palace. Yeah, right here. This is right after I took that picture. But what the next commercial is going to be. With the snake infiltrator guard. This shit pops. It definitely was needed for a whole bunch of palace guards. To make this shit look right. To make it hit hard. Because you got a king and a queen. They need a lot of people around him. And look, she's pissed the fuck off. Right there, you can see the king with his hand and shit trying to tell his son to chill the hell out. 
But he man, he don't give a shit. He sees this infiltrator gone. He's ready to slap the fuck out of his ass. You got everybody just ready to attack. Look, they just felt lost for words. They don't know what to do. That's He-Man. They can't beat He-Man. But besides that, look at that. I got a little sky sled right there for the king. He wants to ride out. But all in all, this shelf is sexy. This whole setup, it came out way better than I could have ever imagined. And thank you folks for watching this. I appreciate y'all coming for the ride with me. I hope this inspired y'all to make up some shit. Because you can see it's easy. This little trial and error, you know what I'm saying? Take your time with it. Hook that shit up. Oh, I'm trying to fix that light. That shit was bothering me. There it is. And that's all y'all got to do, folks. A little bit of time, a little bit of effort goes a long way. Right here on the other diorama, I had to set these figures here to get them pictures for that commercial. But right here, folks, here's another part of the room you don't really need to see too much. I don't show it too often, but I don't add that much to it. Hold up, it's missing one thing. There it is. Love your displays, folks. Put effort into them. You only live once. Make sure that you just do the best you can with what you got. Because I did the best I could with that bitch right there. Thanks for watching. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time for Mr. Home Arcade to take his ass home to his arcade. Because, get it? You get it right. Oh, shit. I'm out of here. <laughs>